How's it going today, folks? Uh, today is a Sunday, and I'm doing some work around the... And what I'm doing is I'm digging out my cannas and my gladiolas and, uh, and winterizing them. Uh, right now, it's the weekend before Thanksgiving. We're in USDA Hardness Zone 6A. So my uh, gladiolas and my cannas have actually been, been uh, knocked down by the frost. But as long as you don't have a heavy frost, if you're in a, in a hardness zone, you need to winterize things. Even if they're knocked down, the frost doesn't get into the dirt until we get really sustained cold temperatures. So everything's going to be fine. As you can see, these have been knocked back by the frost. But take a look. Once we dig them out, they're going to be perfectly fine. There's plenty of nice growth on them. So you can see right here, this is the growth for next year. So all I usually do is I'll dig them out like you just saw. And then we'll just take our clippers, we'll clip back all the, the dead foliage. This is just a place for disease and insects to, to linger over the winter. And then I like to just kind of try to knock the dirt off of them as best as I can. And while you're doing this, you'll notice there's going to be some that kind of break off. Uh, I had two clumps of of cannas, and this is where I, uh, I planted last year, and this is where I put my really vigorous ones. So this is a pretty, this is a pretty, a pretty nice clump of cannas. But that's what you're going to get. And then I'll just go ahead and put them in a pot. All the pieces I can find. You're going to find some big pieces, some small pieces, but anything you see that's got tips on them like this, that's going to be new growth for next year. And this is a pretty, this is a pretty big clump, pretty impressive. So we'll just knock most of the dirt off and go ahead and make sure we got all the foliage off. And put them in our, in our pot. So you see this one, you see all this growth here, and then there's our growth for next year. And this is a nice big fat one. I bet you that's going to have a beautiful flower. And these things are just out of control. They really like it over here. The other clump I put was near my stewardia in front of the house. And I think the stewardia took a lot of the, um, a lot of the moisture from the soil, but they didn't thrive nearly as much as these guys are. And they're kind of they're kind of mingled up there too. This one's got a point, so that's going to be one next year. There's another little point coming here. This one's got two points. It's going to grow real nice next year. And you can get as crazy as you want. All these small ones are going to be they're going to be plants. You can give them to a friend, you know, save them and plant them. You're going to have more cannas than you know what to do with if you save them all. Because a happy canna is going to spread pretty quickly. Over here, we've got our gladiola. And gladiola are a little bit different than our cannas. Gladiola are what's known as corms. So if you take a look here, Oh, uh, look at that. This is a corm, whereas your cannas are rhizome. We're just going to go through and dig up the clumps. And cut off, cut off the foliage and then put all our corms in our little bucket here. 
And you can see some of these, like this one, this is going to be absolutely gorgeous next year. It's got a nice healthy bulb there, nice healthy corm, nice point to it. So you got to kind of dig through the soil a bit. So as you're digging through the soil, you're going to see this corm has got a whole bunch of little baby ones on it. So if you're in a climate where these things overwinter, and I've heard sometimes they do here in, in hardiness zone 6A, I've heard sometimes they do, these are all going to grow into other gladiolas. I'm just going to worry about the really big ones right now and see if I can get enough to keep me going next year so I can save some money from having to buy them. And this one here looks pretty nice too. It's a nice big fat corm. It's, it's firm. And I think this is going to give me some beautiful flowers next year. So here's a good example where we have the the parent plant and then the corm coming along. And this one's a decent size, so we'll save that. And digging up glads looks like it's a little more tedious. So there we go. I keep bumping into these nice big fat worms. Worms are always a sign of healthy soil. Looks like if you get there late enough in the season, you can just rip off the tops. They've already kind of gone dormant. Save yourself from messing with all the clippers. There's our hall of our gladiola and our cannas. We just got to bring them to the basement now. I brought my cannas and my gladiolas into the basement, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a spot in the basement that is, um, you want it to be dry and you want it to be cool. So you want it above freezing and uh, not too warm because you really want to encourage these plants to be dormant and not start growing. And the other thing I did is when I brought them in the basement, I, I put a plastic bag around the pots because I had to go through the house. So I didn't want to make a mess. But the key is cool, dry, and not in direct sunlight. You want these plants to be dormant. Uh, and they're going to be perfectly fine. They'll, they'll sit there. I did this last year, and everything was perfectly fine. Thanks a lot for watching today, folks, and we'll see you soon. Have a great day. Very carefully. If you look at these stems very carefully, you'll see that about every four inches, there's a new set of buds. Now what I want to do is cut just above those buds. If I leave a lot of the stem, you're going to have many more buds, a lot of growth on the shrub. If I cut the shrub back more severely, there's going to be less growth. Now today, because of the size of this plant,